Finding lots of rocks like this all over the place. You can see the pyrite and calcopyrite in there. And there's lots of outcrop similar to this where you can see all those little oxidized areas. See that right there? You got some mineralization on there. Looks like calcopyrite to me. Same with over here. But there's nothing substantial here. Nothing crazy looking or anything with lots of mineralization, just a lot that looks like it's formed in the fractures or deposited in the fractures. This right here kind of looks like barite. Still got some snow up there. We had to walk because the roads dug out, ripped out the culvert. We're gonna walk up here for a little bit, see what we can find. There's lots of interesting rocks here. Lots of granitic rocks. Got granodiorite, diorite, granite. Pretty interesting uh, area. There's a creek down there that we're gonna have to go and test one day. This feeds down into the main one way down there, which is gold bearing. So we basically just spent the last four hours hiking from the bottom of this mountain. And uh, we're almost at the top. Not seeing a whole lot along here, but a kilometer back, everything in the bank was just oxidized. There was oxidized soil, liquid leak leaching out everywhere. And uh, we're finding lots of samples with pyrite and calcopyrite, but not so much up here. It's a pretty warm day today, so it's nice to have a little snow to relax on. <laughs> Enjoying your snow bath? Long hike. So if this video gets 6K views, just number two will streak down the mountain. Looks like he's already started. So we decided to get the hard stuff out of the way first, so we hiked up the mountain, we did a seven kilometer hike up. Now we're on our way down. This is kind of the start of the area where you can see all the soils, all the water leaking out is all uh, oxidized. So obviously there's a presence of iron or some kind of iron sulfide most likely. Somewhere uphill. But you can see this going all the way down the mountain. We'll stop at a few areas. And you can find samples like this all over the place. You got uh, hunks of iron pyrite and calcopyrite. So these are all over the road. But we didn't see any deposit or any kind of showing. So they could have just been dug out of the bank when they built this road. All this area right here, you can see how it's all leaching out of the bank. All here. All over here this is basically the entire mountain going down you have areas like this so there's obviously something up in here and uh, we can't find it so I think our best option is sometime doing a soil sampling survey probably best to determine where all the uh, anomalies are and then we can go from there Here's another area. Everything's just leaching out. You can see just how oxidized it is. Be nice to punch a hole into this bank and see what's there. All right guys, if you guys wanna purchase some of the samples that are shown in our videos, uh, there's a link in the description. This company exclusively sells samples that were featured in our videos. All the samples that are left over um, that don't get assayed or sent into a lab or whatever. Um, those are shipped out to this company and they sell them exclusively. So if you want to go get some samples, click on the link in the description. 
and mention 911 mining 10 percent you'll receive 10 percent off your order so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video i know it was short but uh, it was a long day for us and we are done for the day